the size of that guy. It's okay there. I'll just go to this side. Hey y'all, welcome back. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Sun is shining. No storms on the way, which is a good thing. But today, it's going to be destruction day. Kind of bittersweet. Me and my pop built this shed a few years ago. And as you can see, it just kind of holds junk. But it's taking up too much space. Uh, I'm not going to show you what's under there. That's for future project. We're going to bring that out maybe next week. But this... It's got to go. So I got a hold of Farmer Paul. He's got a nice dump trailer. Uh, that guy's way too good to me. I'll show you why here in a second. And what do I mean by he's way too good to us? He called me yesterday and said, What are you doing? I said, Nothing. He said, Get out here. We got corn. I ended up with a five gallon pail full of sweet corn. Which we're going to be barbecuing later. We're going to end the day with a nice barbecue and a fire. But uh, in the meantime, I think I'm going to have to work up a sweat. Oh, by the way. I know, I'm all over the place. It is what it is. See that little beauty right there in the driveway? It's for sale. We just have not had the time to get out on it. Uh, the weather has not cooperated. So uh, we decided to... Send it on down the road, so it's going to be for sale. She's now decided that uh, we're campers. <laughs> so she wants to get a camper. Hey, it beats sitting around doing nothing. So let's get to work on that shed and uh, get it out of here. on my next project. Come on now. give you all an updated bit updated where we're at I say we it's me so there we got the front off the side off just took that little shelf down I'm gonna cut this side here out and then I'm gonna cut the back out a few hours have gone by because uh, axle diesel you peeing on my project first axle now diesel uh, I had to take you all his friend home they just got back from camping got the barbecue going I told you we're barbecuing tonight I've uh, got a few nice cuts of meat we're throwing on there. I'll show you. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to taste it, but you know, I'm certainly going to let you know how good it was. I got back and we'll go cut the. Find your words. Do I got words? You got any words in my pocket? Axel, you got words? No? You got better words than I do. Anyway, I got to get back at it, get that side cut out of it. We got the four walls out, which was relatively easy. This makes it a lot easier to work with here. I got these big pieces I'm gonna throw in the trailer. Uh, to say that this shed has seen better days is an understatement. That's uh, rotten off the bottom there. So what happened was I was pounding on this trying to get the plywood off before I cut it. Trying to get it off in one big piece. And that whole corner came off. I had to put the corner back on so that the uh, roof wouldn't cave in on me. But uh, that'll be the corner we tackle last. 
think what's going to happen is, is I'm going to cut this one down and this one down. Now there's a method to my madness. We're having a barbecue. I told you that. Some nice cuts of meat. I told you that. I also got some young bucks coming over. Austin and Mark's coming over. Oh, if they want to eat some of these nice cuts of meat, I'm going to solicit their services while they're here. We are all about doing some sketchy things around here, as you probably found out by now. Whew, hey, it's hot. Hotter than a two-pecker tomcat out here. I then took the screws out of the upright here and here, and it didn't fall. So, you know, that's kind of okay. But I cut this all the way around here. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. When the boys get here. And then we're going to hold the roof up. Fold these over. Let the roof come down. And no broken bones. No cuts. No slivers. No runs. No hits. No wears. <laughs> somebody's going to get hurt. And somebody's going to cry. It's kind of the way it is. And here's a public service announcement. Here's our cuts of meat. And before you all lose your mind in the comment section. That's not burnt. Trust me. It's not burnt. We got two very nice roasts, but that's the charcoal after about 45 minutes. Kingsford. Starting to lose it after 45 minutes. Now I know it's still hot, don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna outlast that roast. So obviously I got some more going right here and I'm about to dump that in. Don't recommend Kingsford. I don't know who that is. And yeah, there's a reason I only use or always use cowboy chunks, the hickory, because it lasts and it, I can slow cook something, I can control it a whole lot better. But Kingsford, come on, that's a $13 bag and it'll be gone today and or there's not a left in it for another barbecue. Not impressed, Kingsford. Cowboy chunks is where it's at. And no, that's not sponsored. But it should be. Five gallon bucket. Really? Five gallon bucket full of sweet corn. Just started husking some for dinner tonight. Look at how nice and yellow that is. Pick it up yesterday. We ate some right in the field. Didn't even cook it. You know it's good corn and fresh corn when you can do that. All right, we took a break from the destruction to get some food. Uh, I tried the meat out a little bit. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Here's what we're eating. There's the meat. Nice roast. Got lots of corn, potatoes. And uh, this is how I did the corn on the barbecue. Just wrapped it up in tin foil. Simple as that. Anyway, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to eat this. I'm not going to be rude. I'm not going to eat it in front of you. And uh, we made a little headway on the demolition project. I'll show you that in a second. Well, we are nearing the end of the day here. We got uh, look at that. quite a bit done. I'll get the rest of this uh, cut up tomorrow, put on a trailer, and then taken to the dump. Wasn't that bad. I told you I was going to use the... Uh, young bucks for the muscle they were swindled they wanted the food that's gonna be it for today i'll see you all tomorrow a little windier out here than yesterday welcome back guys it's obviously the next day uh today's dump day so here's where we're at get most of it cleaned up here most of it cleaned up here yeah this is going to be uh take it down later today so this is what we are taking to a dump not a bad load. I'm assuming it's going to cost about 20 bucks to dump that, but we got to drive for a bit, so we'll bring it along. Not the most exciting day in the world, but hey, it's a dump. We got the Silverado loaded down on the highway. We got about a 30 minute ride, and the most important meal of the day coffee. We'll be there at the dump in a minute. There at the dump. Over there in a minute.
we are here. We're gonna get unloaded and get back on the road. We got more work to do. doesn't take near as long to unload as it does to load anyway we are done here at the dump we're gonna head home and and finish the demolition one thing I never understood is why they charge you to dump your stuff there it was 25 bucks and my my box was full up to the up to the window of the, of the topper still 25 bucks to dump it I guess they kind of got you. You can't put it out the curb, they won't pick it up. So, nor do I want that sitting in front of my house. Is what it is. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back. Got a lot of work done yesterday. I uh, didn't film a whole lot because I was battling the rain. Or I was trying to beat the rain, should I say, but here's where we're at. Well, all I got left is the floor. Everything else has uh, been moved out. I'm going to cut this in one, maybe three sections. So the stuff we wanted to keep, I put in my shed here. Which has got to be reorganized so that everything fits properly. But I went to see Farmer Paul yesterday. Got his trailer. And what was out there is right there on his trailer. So tomorrow the dump's going to open. I'm going to run to Blenheim and dump that off. But right now, i got to cut up that floor, get it on the trailer, and that back corner is clear. Expecting some more rain today, so the sooner I get this done, the better. got to make sure that you stand in puddles of water while you work electrical equipment. Make sure your cord's in the water, too. Like that. Shed's gone. Get it loaded in the trailer. You all, look at the size of that guy. It's okay there. I'll just go to this side. I was sweating today, but apparently I did. Uh, that's going to do it. All I do is rake this up, move those patio stones, get rid of that one piece of plywood right there. I'm not certain what she wants to put there, but I think we should get one of those great big feeder 
feeder bins from the TSC store that's got the, you know what I mean? The great big things you feed cattle with. Big, I mean big. Right there in the corner, put some bass and bluegill in it. Can't think of that happening. Yep, you're right. There'd be no chance of that happening. I've done more work in three days than I've done in the last three months. I think I'm due for a holiday. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along. We've got all kinds of different things going on here. I don't know whether I'm fishing or I'm hunting or I'm touring around or going to the farm or picking vegetables. So again, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along and we'll see you all in the next one. Later. Hey, hey. Just peed on my next project.